So today we're going to be using the Guar Fluted Art Ready to Pour Acrylic Paints. And I wanted to have turquoise and purples. So I want a dark color of the purples and I wanted to do pink for my light. However, I used all the fuchsia that I had. Uh, and the neon pink is super bright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, some of the pink and add a little bit of the neon pink and a little bit of the true red and try to make another pink color but I'm just doing that because uh, my fuchsia is completely gone so but if you and I wanted to have a pink color and not, and this is too light for me so I'm go, just gonna put a little bit of the neon pink and a little bit of the true red and make another pink okay so just want a pink two turquoise and the purple and the white. So the colors are white, blue, violet, deep turquoise, ocean blue, pink, pink neon, true, true red. Okay, I'm going to mix this, super, super mix this to make sure that it is not, that I'm not mixing the silicone in here. So I'm going to be mixing this a lot before I start pouring. this this in here and I don't like that so I may move it so that this get bigger because I don't like um, let's see
so I have to use the marble again because I don't have any design I don't have anything in here so let's just use the marble I think these two pieces turned out so pretty. Um, I have to tell you, I'm not sure who invented the marble, uh, the using of the marble, uh, but I have to tell you that I saw it on Fiona's art. Um, she has many, many good ideas, and probably it was her, I'm not sure, uh, but I may I should mention that I the first time that I saw it it was some Fiona's and and this one I didn't have any B10 left so it has less cells but I love it because it has some negative spaces and I was at first I was thinking I was gonna put a butterfly in there but now I'm not sure it is so pretty because it's so simple and elegant so first of all I'm transferring the design by putting a piece of graphite paper the darker side facing the piece and tracing it with a stylus and now I'm going to trace the outline the outline of the butterfly now you can see it, the outline and now I'm going to base coat it with light mocha and outside of camera and when I return I'm gonna start highlighting I'm gonna mix the light mocha with mint tan because it's too light and I want to have um, I want to see the highlights when once I start putting highlights oops so that's what I'm gonna do Now with the liner and um, 
soft black I'm going to outline the antenna and let's put some shading on the legs and the top of the butterfly soft black painted a line in there so I'm gonna dry this with a hair dryer so now I'm going to since it is dry I'm gonna put back the pattern and trace the other lines now I'm going to take those lines and I'm going to outline them with burnt umber. I'm going to take light buttermilk and I'm going to dry brush. And what I mean with dry brush is that I'm going to put a, a, a small amount of the light buttermilk in the brush. And I'm going to remove it as much as I can and I'm gonna start highlighting this butterfly I put light buttermilk in the brush and I remove the excess on the paper towel and then I apply it in here. I have to put some also on the face, on the head. Before I continue, I'm gonna take a brush. Let's take a lash flat. This is number size 12. And I'm going to take a tiny bit of the soft black. And I'm going to start shading behind in here. I'm going to put here and there some of these dark spots. Very dark uh, soft black and make sure that you have it on this outside. And then I'm going to take that soft black and I'm going to make a uh, very dark spot in here I'm gonna take that um, base coated color that we mixed and put it on the legs
gonna mix a tiny bit of the light buttermilk. And now I'm gonna take that light buttermilk and start um, also outlining some of these um, lines. I like the top of the leg with this color and also on the side like buttermilk I bought a milk on the head. And finish outlining all these um, lines with this light buttermilk. Okay, so uh, now I need to go extra and put some highlight with um, titanium white. So I'm gonna go take titanium white on this brush and remove the excess and start highlighting. Before I put more of the highlight, I want to do a tiny bit of the tint of the Aqua Sky with this brush. And put a tiny bit of this color in the body. A reflection on the butterfly. Now let's re-highlight. So 
So stippling a tiny bit of the white. I'm going to reapply the dark um, spots with the um, soft black dry brush and now I'm going to reapply the lines with the Live Water Middle Plus the Titanium White. You still can see them. I'm going to reapply them. Okay? So I'm going to do a final highlight with the um, white and the uh, dry brush. And the um, lightest highlight is in this area. Not everywhere, okay? And I think I'm gonna leave it like this. I put a tiny bit of the tiny bit of the touch out of the chocolate in here. I may highlight it a tiny bit with the light buttermilk. Not too much. And I think I'm going to go all the way to black. And I do not want to spend too much time in this butterfly. This is supposed to be something real easy. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit of this uh, soft black. And I am going to darken uh, some areas. Like for example, only only the lower oops for example I'm gonna darken this area in here only that area and I'm gonna darken uh, that section should probably go closer and I'm gonna darken this in here a dot in here I am going straight to black and let's darken a tiny bit the dots and maybe maybe one in here And that's probably all that I'm going to put with black. Maybe a tiny bit in here. And that's it. So one more observation. You have been watching me doing this butterfly with a magnification glass because reality this butterfly look at the size this butterfly is two by two inches in dimensions and um you got you were seeing a lot of imperfection that you normally would not see with your naked eye and um so because i was trying to give you the as much detail as possible so you can do it but in reality uh the butterfly if you go very very close you'll see all the imperfections but when you see it with the naked eye you will not see all those imperfections so um this is really a small item and um i could spend hours and hours to make it perfect but i don't want to and you shouldn't either because this should be something fun And I hope you like what we did. 
please 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 share my video so other watch it and please uh, subscribe and click on the notification bell have a wonderful day bye bye